Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do a full face of new makeup, full-ish face. I don't have a, everything, but if you saw my last video, I did a haul and I picked up a few things at Sephora. I got some stuff in PR and we're gonna try it all out today. Now, some of this stuff I have used, like the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. I did a whole review on this, so if you haven't seen that, definitely check it out. Um, but I thought I would just kind of give you my updated thoughts on it and how I like to wear it. And then we've just got some other fun new things, including the new Kosas Glowy product um, that I'm a little nervous about trying. But anyway, make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack. Got my protein smoothie, yay. And if you want to, you can grab your makeup and you can sit down and do your makeup with me if you want. But without further ado, let's get into it. Cheers. My band, I purchased this on Amazon. I talked about this in my haul video. But I want to show you how it compared to the Verse one. So this is the Verse one. And I love this one. I just don't like the color pink. So it's just not my vibe. So I wanted to get one in a different color. They do have a black one on the Verse website. But Amazon is just so much easier. So they're kind of similar. The white one definitely has like more of a harsh indention. But I just want to show you like they're relatively similar. So anyway, we're going to be using this one. I will link this below. And then um, my smoothie, I'm actually drinking out of the cups that I mentioned in my haul as well. I bought these off of Amazon and a set of four. I love them. Um, they're like those beer glasses um, that you can use for like coffee and smoothies or whatever. And these are really nice because they have lids. So and you can actually stick a straw in there. I've just done a little bit of skincare. I just did my moisturizer. Actually, I've been using my Vichy Mineral 89 serum again. I used to use this like a while ago and I've been using this again and I really like it. I'm actually almost out of this bottle. So I have a little bit of this on and my Naturium Multipeptide Moisturizer and we're gonna go into the makeup. So I was trying to decide what I wanted to apply first because I have this Kosas Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer which is, you can be used in multiple ways. You can use it underneath foundation, mix with foundation, on top of foundation. I think I'm just gonna use it underneath foundation today because I would just want to see what it looks like. But as you saw in my last video, it's really glittery. And this is honestly probably not something I would wear underneath my foundation, just all over my face, because it's just really glittery. I also have these Revolution Balm Glows. But I think I'm gonna try this on top. And then I also have the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer, which is like a balmy tinted product too. Um, so we've got a lot of these kind of glowy, balmy products. And I don't know if I'm able to use all of them. So the thing that I'm kind of conflicted here is I wanted to show y'all how I've been wearing the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. If you watched my review, you saw that it was very, 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 very glowy on my skin. It was too glowy. So I've actually been pairing it with the Jane Iredale Smooth Affair Mattifying Face Primer. I've had this in my collection for a while. They sent this to me in PR and I've just never had a use for a mattifying primer. Um, I've just never been overly oily, but I noticed recently I get really oily in the T-zone and then especially using this foundation, I look very shiny. So I've actually been using these together and it is beautiful, it's beautiful. So it's kind of unfortunate that I have to use a primer with this product. I mean, I don't have to, but if I want to look so shiny, I kind of have to use this primer. Maybe we'll do, okay, you know what? It's fine. I'm not going anywhere after this. We're just going to play around. So let's go and start with the Kosas Glow IV. This is in the shade Radiate, which is described as a sheer medium golden. It has vitamin D, vitamin K. It's supposed to be like a skincare makeup product, which is very typical for a lot of Kosas products. This is what she looks like. I actually really like the texture and the consistency. I just don't like the silver glitter. And I did get a shade that was a little bit deeper because I wanted something that would kind of give me some color. Let's go ahead and apply this to the face. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna do a really thin layer. Feels really nice applying it to the skin. Actually, when I shear this color out, it actually matches my skin pretty well. It's maybe like half a shade deeper than my skin tone once I shear it out. So it doesn't feel super moisturizing 
like say the L'Oreal Lumique Lotion, I feel like that product is actually quite moisturizing, whereas this feels a little bit thinner. Like when you pump it out, it feels thick, but then once you spread it out, it doesn't maintain that kind of, I don't know, like nourishing feeling, you know what I mean? Yeah, there's just silver glitter all over my face. I don't know. Oh, I don't like that. It's not like a shimmer, it's like straight up chunky silver glitter. See, yeah, there we go. See all that silver glitter? That's what's all over my face right now. I do not like that. I'm honestly probably gonna return this. This is just way too glittery. Well, let's go in with a little bit of my mattifying primer. I don't know how well this is gonna sit on top of this Kosas product, but we'll just try it. Um, I really like this primer though. I'm Again, I'm not a primer person and I'm definitely not a matte primer person. This is probably my favorite mattifying primer I've ever tried. It's really good. It kind of has this like peachiness to it. It's very, very thin. It feels really moisturizing when you first apply it. Like it doesn't have a silicone feel or like typical kind of mattifying blurring primers. It actually feels quite moisturizing. And then after it sets down, it is matte. But it's not like a powdery matte, like a like, like it's gonna pill. Um, so let's go ahead and go in with the Make Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin Foundation. I have this in the shade C4. Where are my brushes? Got this across the face. Sponge, this is my pawpaw sponge from Amazon. And also with this foundation, if you are dealing with it being too glowy, I would say just maybe cut down on the amount that you're applying because the more you apply, the more glowy it gets. Um, so I've just been doing like a really thin layer right on top of this primer and you can see like it's not nearly as shiny as when uh, I first tried it. It actually looks quite matte on the skin and I am gonna be going in with a full coverage concealer, so I don't even really need that much coverage. So anyway, that's how I've been applying this foundation. I love it. I love these two together. It's unfortunate that I feel like I have to use these two together because they're both of these are expensive products. Um, but again, I'm just gonna keep playing around with this. I'm gonna, I need to try it without a primer and maybe with less product and or a more mattifying powder. So I might do that as well, but. Anyway, I've been loving these two together. It just creates the perfect light coverage, just evens my skin out, my skin tone out, and it just looks super, super natural. All right, so for concealer, I have the Sephora Collection Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. I'm so excited to try this. So I have this in the shade 17.5N. It's a little bit darker than my skin tone, so I feel like I can't use it unless I'm wearing foundation. So if I end up liking it, I will go get it in a lighter shade, but we're just gonna try this today. I'm gonna start with a little bit, because I don't know how much coverage this is gonna have. And the doe foot applicator is a little bit bigger than a traditional doe foot. And honestly, just the packaging itself is its quite a good amount of product you get. Okay, you get 0.3 ounces, which is more than your standard concealer. I'm just always looking for a good concealer, long wearing concealer that just looks really pretty on the skin. So I'm excited to try this. So I'm gonna blend it out with my damp sponge. All right, so immediately you do get pretty good amount of coverage. Ooh, you know what this concealer reminds me of? It reminds me of the Rose Ink concealer. Like the texture, the blend out. I just took my Makeup by Mario foundation basically from shh, light, 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 light coverage to I feel like I have like a solid medium coverage or even light full coverage. That looks good. I mean, so far it seems to be sitting on the skin nicely. It's definitely a matte finish. Hopefully it doesn't dry, like get too dry or heavy, but I feel like 
it looks really nice on the skin and it's definitely got coverage which i like that i don't like when concealers say they're full coverage and they just they they're not I don't know. Have y'all tried this? This is really good. They also have a foundation that I've always wanted to try. It's supposed to be like very sheer, like kind of like a skin tint. But since I just don't really wear foundation anymore, I didn't want to pick it up. But this is nice. I like it. And per usual, I forgot to do my contour, my cream contour before concealer. So we're just going to do it now. I purchased the Fenty Beauty uh, Match Sticks Matte Contour Skin Stick in the shade 3 Mocha. This is the first complexion product I've ever tried from Fenty. I don't know why it took me so long. I know all of her products get really good reviews and a lot of people seem to really like them, but I just never tried them, so I picked this up. All right, so I'm just gonna apply it directly to my cheek. And like I mentioned in my haul video, this is a pretty warm shade. So I wouldn't really I mean, you can contour with it, but it's pretty warm. I felt like the other shade that I was kind of going between, I was going between this shade and a different shade, I think it was like amber or something. It was really, really gray looking. And I don't really like contours that are that harsh. Okay, that's blending out wonderfully. Let's take some up onto the forehead. I just love stick contours. Like, there are so many contours that I love, like the Janessa Marks Balm contour, her powder bronzer, or a power bronzer. The Rose Ink Cream Bronzer, like I love all of those, but there's just nothing like a stick cream bronzer or cream contour. It's just so easy to use and you can really just draw exactly where you want to define your face. It's just so nice and so easy. All right, this is blending out really, really nice. It is definitely more of a dry formula. Like it's not super balmy or creamy. Um, but it's blending out nicely, I'm not having any issues. You do have to kind of work at it just a little bit. Show a little TLC. It's not like my Danessa Myricks Balm Contour which you just touch it and it blends itself out. All right, that's nice. It's a very nice natural contour. And honestly, the skin is looking really good. That Sephora concealer is looking bomb. Like, it still looks relatively natural from the foundation, but this just gave it that little oomph of coverage. It's perfect. I love using concealers like this with very sheer bases, like sheer skin tints or even just no foundation at all because this is really like gonna give you the coverage that you need. You don't need to apply that all over your face. I mean, if you want to, you do you, but I love having a just good, solid, full coverage concealer like the skin looks so snatched right now I'm loving it so I think I'm going to save the rest of the cream products for after powder um because I just feel like it's just gonna work better I don't know maybe we should I take that back let's try this balm glow from revolution this is in the shade flushed pink let's try and use this kind of like a cream blush underneath powder it might completely ruin this whole look but I don't know I'm curious so these are the new Makeup Revolution Balm Glows. Um, it's a multi-use glow for the face, but it also says you can apply it to the lips as well. Um, this is basically like their take on the Jones Road Miracle Balm. Definitely took the idea from that. Um, but it came in six different shades. I have a bunch of different shades. Um, there's like nude, more nude bronzy shades. There's like a really pretty purple shade. But I think I'm gonna try and use this as a little bit of blush. I also have rose pink, which might be pretty, but I just don't think that's gonna be dark enough. All right, let's do rose pink. Let's just try rose pink. So it says break the seal. So just kind of like push your finger in there, kind of break it, just like the Miracle Balm. And like I mentioned in my haul video, if you, just in case you didn't watch that, uh, in comparison to the Jones Road Miracle Balm, these are a little bit more tacky and more glossy, whereas the Jones Road Balms are more of like a solid oil. They're more creamy and emollient. These have a little bit more of a, a glossiness to them, and they're slightly more tacky. Kind of dip it in there and then just tap off the excess. I don't know. We're just playing. 
You can of course use your fingers for this, but I feel like I'll have more control with the brush. Okay, we're actually seeing some color on the skin. I was thinking these would like be so sheer that you didn't even see anything. Very, very, very glossy. I'm gonna take my sponge and kind of pick up some of that shine. Let's try flushed pink. It's pretty, it's just so shiny and kind of sticky. Just don't know, practically speaking, how this would wear unless you were literally just wearing no makeup with this on your cheeks and on your lips. That'd be really pretty, like at the pool or the beach. Not that we're, well, depends on what hemisphere you're in, but I'm not going to the pool or the beach anytime soon. But I can see this kind of product being really beautiful for that kind of look. Okay, so just a sheer color. Honestly, I think once I apply powder, this is gonna completely disappear. All right, so I went ahead into my brows off camera because I don't have any new brow products. I just used my NYX Brow Glue, NYX Brow Pen, per usual. And I was just kind of looking at my skin. And the one thing about this concealer that is just blowing me away is that it is not creasing at all. Like it's creasing a little bit on my eyelids where I applied it, but like under my eyes, it looks like I just blended it out. It's not creasing, which is crazy. All my concealers crease. So I do have a new powder. This is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Invisible Silk Loose Powder. This is in the shade or it's like the finish radiant. It's the only loose powder that they have. So I guess they only have like a radiant one. They do have a pressed version of this and I don't know if it's radiant or not, but I purchased this not knowing that it was radiant. So I'm a little nervous because I don't like glowy powders. So I'm gonna try this and then I also have my little triangle one if I don't like this one. So I'm just gonna dip into the mesh. I love a mesh on a loose powder. I wish more brands would do the mesh. It's just so much easier and it's not messy. Okay, definitely took down some of the shine. I'm just gonna do one side so I can kind of see the difference. Yeah, you can definitely see the sparkle. Oh, I just realized my lip is bleeding. Ugh. Um, yeah, that is, there's just little glitter particles everywhere. Why, why must we put glitter in everything? There is a time and place for glitter, but I don't, I don't understand why you need to put glitter in your face powder, which is such a bummer because I love the Shiseido Synchro Skin line. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of my Jones Road bronzer in light tan, just to, just right on top of that Fenty matchstick. Like I've already made a dent in this bronzer. I've just been using it nonstop, I love it. It's so good, so, so good. And then I have this Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer, but this is just so glowy and, um, it's very sheer, like it doesn't really show up that much on my skin. Maybe we'll use it as highlighter. Okay, I'm gonna take my sponge and dip it in there. And yeah, I think the way I'm gonna use this is like a highlighter rather than a bronzer. He even said you can like use it all over your face, like a tint. Maybe I'll try that. But I need more color to my skin. This, uh, I have a shade light medium. I feel like this shade would be a little bit too dark for me. Very, very, very glowy. I need some blush. So we're gonna go in with an actual blush. So this is not a new purchase, but I've actually never tried this on top of makeup. Like I kind of played around with it when I first got it um, just to see how it would look on my cheeks but I kind of want to try this today because it is new. Like I honestly have not tried this at all. And I was so excited to buy this too. Um, this is the Euphoria Chemical Reac or Blush Oil in the shade Chemical Reaction. So the way that I want to use this and the reason why I purchased it is for no makeup days. So no foundation, maybe a little bit of concealer, but honestly, probably no concealer, just this on the cheeks and on the lips, just for some color. I wouldn't really use it for like a full face of makeup, but let's just try it today and see how it works. So it's a clear um, like gel and it's supposed to transform into a nice kind of pinky shade. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go onto the cheek. Ooh, I'm getting really scared. Yeah, it kind of feels, you can kind of see it turning pink a little bit. It kind of feels like 
uh, like a clear lip gloss. Ooh. Wow, that blended out so easily. Now, this is supposed to stay quite dewy on the skin. It is a blush oil. So on top of like a full face of makeup, I don't know if I would love it just because it does stay really glowy. Now, we have a lot of glow going on already, so it's not just this product. But on bare skin, oh my gosh, that would be stunning. Stunning, ooh. Okay, we need to try this again another day without a full beat. I kind of want to know what it does if I do apply powder on top. Like if it just disappears. All right, I'm gonna take my Makeup Forever powder, which is my favorite. Let's just see what happens. We're just applying and testing things out. Okay, so that took down the shine, but you can still see the pink. Did I just discover my favorite new blush? I don't know. This is gonna be great for no makeup makeup. I wonder, it says not to use it on the lips. I'm gonna do it anyway. I do have lip products. I guess they didn't test it for the lips or maybe you can't like ingest it, I don't know. Oh yeah, look at that pretty pink. Ooh, okay. That's going in my makeup bag. So far it's a win, but I really wanna try this on bare skin. Whoa, that is, that is stunning. Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Have y'all tried this? This That is so good. So for the eyes, I oh, I did have a blush. I forgot I had the Jones Road blush. I forgot I had this um, blush from Jones Road. And I don't wanna apply it on top of this because this is just so pretty. So we'll have to try this another time. I'll put that in my makeup bag and maybe I'll play with that tomorrow and film with it. Okay, so for the eyes, I have an eye pencil and an eyeshadow, both from Jones Road. I have the best pencil in the shade black, which I'm super excited about. And I have this eyeshadow, which is very, very shimmery, very glittery. Um, but I'm gonna try and create a little look with these two and see what we can come up with. Um, I think I'm gonna start with the eyeliner. I feel like my skin is so fresh and so pretty. And then I'm just gonna do like black liner. But that's okay. All right. See how creamy this guy is. I just love the look of this. It looks like the Makeup Forever pencils, but they just look like little artist pencils. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna try and just kind of smudge this at my lash line. Do I have any brushes? Yes, I do. All right, I'm gonna take the Persona uh, line brush. And just smoke that out. Yeah, it applies so nicely. Really creamy, not tugging at the eyes at all. So I'm just gonna do a very light little smoky situation just right at the lash line. I don't wanna do anything too intense on the eyes. Okay, that blended out beautifully. No complaints. I'm kind of wondering if these pencils set down like if you can just use them on their own. All right, and then I'm gonna go over top with the Jones Road eyeshadow in So Pretty. A little taupey silver moment. And I'm just gonna use this as a lid topper. So I'm using my finger, wiping off the excess, really pushing it into my finger, and then just tapping it right on top. Yeah, when it's on top of the liner, you can really see like all the different flecks of glitter. That's pretty. All right, so that's the eyes. I'm gonna leave it like that. I don't have a new mascara, so I'm just gonna do mascara off camera and then we'll come back and I've got a few lip products to play with. All right, so those are the eyes. I actually love the way that the liner and the eyeshadow turned out. That's so pretty. It's a little bit more glam for like an everyday look but maybe just like the glitter just by itself. That'd be really pretty. Okay, so for the lip, I have the Tower 28 Juice Balm. This is brand new, and I have this in the shade Drink. I'm gonna apply this to my lip, but then I'm gonna take it off and actually apply these two new Rare Beauty lip products. I think they'll go better with the eye look that we have, but I wanna try this on. I still have a little bit of that Euphoria. 
uh, stuff on. I kind of tried to remove a little bit of it, but I'm going to apply this on top. I wanted something that was kind of like a berry stain. Yeah, definitely does not really go with this eye look. But that's really pretty, and it's really comfortable. I don't know, Tower 28, their formulas are so good. Like, their glosses, all their cream products, like... They just do makeup so well. They do, their formulas are just so good. All right, and then I have two products from Rare that I picked up from Sephora. I have the matte lipstick in the shade Worthy and then the Kind Words matte lip liner in the shade Worthy. So both are in the same shade. And this is cool. I don't know if I, I showed y'all in this in the last video, but the packaging for the lipstick is really cool. So you just press this and it pops up. You pull it out, it's really cute. Yeah, Rare Beauty. Definitely kills it with packaging. And I would probably describe this as like, oh, it looks really gray on camera. It's like a muted mauve or like a dusty mauve maybe. I feel like it looks really gray on camera, but it doesn't look that gray in person. Pretty, I like this, I like this combo. All right guys, so that completes this makeup look. There were a lot of hits, so I'm just gonna kind of round up what I really like as of right now. I will of course have to keep kind of playing with everything. Fenty Matchstick, love this. And if I really, really like it and I use it a lot, I'm definitely gonna pick this up in other shades to maybe do more of a true contour and then maybe some highlight shades, I don't know. What, if y'all tried this, what are your favorite shades to use? Of the Sephora collection, best skin ever concealer. This stuff is really great so far. Obviously I haven't worn it all day. Great coverage, didn't crease on me. It'd be a great like no foundation, just spot conceal product. Another good no foundation product. This Youthphoria blush oil. Oh my gosh, this is probably the most exciting product I tried today. And this wasn't even new. I, this has been sitting in my makeup bag for months and I'm just finally getting around to playing with it. And this is stunning. Tower 28 Juice Balm, really liked this. This is just kind of like gonna be an everyday kind of on the go lit product. Um, Jones Road Pencil, if this like doesn't just smear all over my eyes, I'm gonna really like that. Again, some of these I'm just gonna have to kind of use and see how they work. Um, I really liked this eyeshadow, which I didn't think I was gonna like because it's so silvery, but it actually ended up looking really, really pretty on the eyes. The two products I did not like at all. Kosas Glow IV. Like, this is going back to Sephora. I, this is just straight up glitter. It's, and it's so unfortunate because the base of this, the pearl, is gorgeous. I don't know why they had to add that extra silver glitter. And I'm also going to return the Shiseido powder. This Again, the glitter. Like, I don't know why people feel the need to put glitter in makeup. Honestly, just as a whole, we're having a very good makeup day. I'm very happy, very excited to keep playing with all these products. I hope y'all have enjoyed this video. So thank y'all so much for hanging out with me today again in my bathroom. Remember, I love you, God loves you, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.